Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. Today we're hanging out at the Heavy Industries Lab. This back part here is our vehicular sciences lab where we've got classics like Geek Mobile Unit 3 and the Doom van and the Adventure van back there. This isn't actually ours, it belongs to our neighbor. Now you'll notice in a video a little while back, we installed a battery charger in Old Blue. Well, we use that. Um, not only can that be used to maintain the charge on a battery in it, but you can hook it up to jumper cables to another battery and plug that in and you're good to go and use that charger and battery to charge another battery. So that's what we did with the street sweeper. And we're trying to get our old classic Elgin Pelican street sweeper, which actually has a John Deere engine, which I think is really cool. We're trying to get this back to life because it's been sitting here for a while and it needs love. It's been just a background project for us for quite a while and we want to get this up and running and painted and all tricked out and cool because it's a really cool demonstration. We, we love this thing. And it's, it's, it's a straight sweeper, man. It's cool. It's like having your own fire truck or a tank. It's just an interesting vehicle. So we figured while we were here today, we'd take a minute and share this with the world and give you guys out there that aren't local members just a quick look at the street sweeper. So here's the basics of it. This is the hopper up front, which is way forward. Um, that's because it's been sitting for a while and we can't start it. And without being able to start it, the hydraulic system bleeds out and this thing falls forward over a period of a long period of time. But the hopper, normally this here would be right here, and that'd be at this level in there. So this all rolls back, and if you, if you get up here, you can see it. Um, that conveyor belt in there is what loads the hopper, and that brings up dirt and leaves and stuff into the back of the hopper, which is actually right here. You can see the opening here. So the conveyor belt would push up into here, and this would be the top surface here. Remember, it's upside down. So that dumps it into the hopper, and then the idea is that you can roll the hopper forward, and this actually lifts way up to dump it. So that's how that works. And down here is the other end of the conveyor belt. There's the conveyor belt right there. And that big brush sweeps things up and drops them into this little thing here, which puts them on the conveyor belt. So that's, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just the brush picks things up, puts it on a conveyor belt, the conveyor belt takes it up, dumps it in the hopper. That's it. It's, it's a big broom. I mean, it's a street sweeper. It's not really complicated. It's like a Roomba for, you know, your neighborhood. So, yeah, that's the basics of it. Now, here's the problem that we're having. Um, head around to the other side, and we'll, we'll show them what's going on. I'll climb in on this side. You good? Should be. All right, so now we're in the cockpit of the street sweeper, which is not a place that a lot of people get to see, so it's kind of cool. Um, we're missing the switch for broom rotate. So if anybody out there has one that they'd like to donate, I'm sure it's like a $10 part, we really need one, and then we can make the side broom work. But this is our problem. Um, if you look at the gauges, we turn this to the on position. Plenty of gas, plenty of battery. It's all charged up and ready to go. But when we turn it, nothing happens. So we've probably got a problem with a, a relay somewhere, a starter solenoid. This down here works, but the next thing in the chain isn't, and we don't exactly know what that is. So we're trying to figure that out. If you happen to have any experience with Pelican Elgin street sweepers, and you want to come down and donate your services and help out and be part of the team on this, you're welcome to. Please, by all means, go to thegeekgroup.org and get involved on this, because we could certainly use the help. Um, we have no trouble admitting that we have no idea about anything on this thing. But it's really cool. It's, uh, it's a hydrostatic drive, which is kind of neat. There's no transmission or anything. It's all done hydraulically. And this is the controls for the hopper, which we really need to start this up and then just pull that back, and that'll just roll right up in there. We've, we've had this running before. We drove it here. It's just sat for a while, and things have pretty much gone to hell. So, yeah, that's a quick look at our street sweeper. And uh, that's today's adventure. And by the way, just so that somebody remembers in the future, there's a wasp nest inside the exhaust pipe. I've been watching wasps fly in there in the back of the muffler. So, yeah. So whoever works on this in the future, you might want to remember that. Well, that's it for today. You guys have fun. We'll have more for you next time. And in the meantime, we're going to get back to work. See you guys. Ah!